Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Out Waxing and UK One Wheel Channel. So, I am very lucky tonight to be given a brand new set of skis to wax. And you'll be thinking, why are you waxing a brand new set of skis when they come waxed and they're brand new, as you can tell just here. However, I have recently done a Warpig snowboard that was also brand new. And it is, a, like I say, it's mega important to make sure that you get wax laid down. Now, I'm not saying that the factory do a bad job in any way, shape or form. They edge the skis very well. They lay down a layer of wax. But there's nothing better than laying down a layer of wax and really making sure that these are ready to fly. Um, it's always a weak, hmm, a thin layer of wax that goes on them. Yes, they're shiny, but I would have thought by possibly day one or day two, they will actually become quite dry quite quickly. And we want to load these up. I am also going to make sure that the tips and tails are dulled down with a gummy stone. So you're going to see me just brushing off those edges, tips and tails, to make sure that reduces any catching when skiing. And we're going to see how we can turn these skis from what they look relatively good now, but with a nice fresh layer of human hand wax, should we say, taking it off, pol polishing it up, brushing it all off and see how shiny we get. So it'll be interesting the before and after. Um, which you'll see a little bit later on in the film to see how different they do look. So, no further ado guys, I'm going to crack on with these skis. I'm just going to dull the tips and the tails and then we're going to get on to waxing these skis and get them back to the customer. Yeah, awesome. Solomon 170 Max 08 skis with brand new Solomon bindings. Got edge amplifier on it, really nice set of skis. Beautiful colour top coat as you can see just here. That nice wide nose. Yeah, stunning. Really good set of skis, as you can see just there. Very lucky, very happy. I'm going to make sure these are tip top. So let's crack on. Okay, so this is this the ski that I haven't actually waxed. What I've done is I've done a, a before and after. This is the factory finish that we got. Again, very, very good. Nice and smooth, nice and black. But I would always recommend getting any new ski or snowboard wax for the simple reason. What they tend to do, they have a roller and they put wax on the roller and then they rub the ski up and down the ro roller, giving it a polish and obviously laying down a very thin layer of wax. And uh, like I say, nice and sharp. I have dulled the, dulled the tips and the tails, but you'll see a massive difference from this ski to this ski. Now, if I just pull this one slightly closer, there is a quite a contrast. Even if I level this up so it's in the same angle, the ski I've waxed is a lot, lot darker. Now, I have waxed this ski, I've polished this ski, I've detailed this ski, and you can actually see if we try and get the same light angle on there, it's quite a difference in shade. So it's always worth waxing the ski. Um, just be simply because I know I've loaded this, this uh, ski full of wax. We've polished it. We've detailed it. I've dull and tipped the edges, both front and back. So we're not going to reduce any catching just in case that when they sharpen the ski in the factory, they'd overrun. Um, so if we just quickly come back down here, we've dulled the tips and the tails. But again, you can see a big difference in colour. And again, if I just level this ski so it's parallel, so it's on the same angle of light, you can see the light bar there running across the screen. You can actually see a massive difference in colour. That's why it's always important to wax a brand new ski or snowboard. And then that way, then you're ready for the mountain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this ski done. I just sort of do a comparison because it's quite nice to see how different it looks. So I'm going to get this ski waxed. I'm just going to dull and tip the tips and tails on this one to reduce catching on that ski. And then it's set is all done. So definitely a recommendation. Get your new skis or snowboard waxed. 
Here we go. Hey guys, right, these Solomon Max 80 skis are all done. Now these are brand new skis and uh, personally I always think it's a really good idea if you've got new skis or new snowboard to get some fresh wax laid down. They do say that they come from the manufacturer's wax. Yes they do, but by day one, by day two, that wax will be gone. Now we've laid a good thick layer of wax. We've obviously heated it into this base. We've scraped it all off. And then we polished it with nylon brushes, horsehair brushes, and this is now looking superb, these skis. Absolutely superb. As you can just say there, we've got a really good shine on those skis, and they are looking fabulous. They're a lovely ski. The other thing as well I've also done, because they get sharpened on a machine, I've actually dull and tipped the edge with a gummy stone, just bringing those in a couple of inches on each ski, making sure that these skis perform superbly well and you're not going to catch that edge because obviously a new ski under your foot is always going to feel different from your old ski. And we want to make sure these are absolutely tip top and ready to go. Super smooth, no base scraping, just simply dull and tipped the edges, laid down from West fresh wax, taken that off and polished them up. And there we go. Personally, my recommendation, if you get new skis and new snowboard, get them waxed. But guys, until next time, that's another episode done in the Ride Right Waxing Workshop. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you soon.